Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 with the new and fresh One UI 2.0 upgrade with Android 10. So, this upgrade has been rolling out the last couple days for the unlocked version of the Note 10, and as you can see, it is ready to install. So, what I'm doing in this video is I'm going to tap on install, I'm going to start the installation process, I'm going to be right back with you guys and give you all the new top features of One UI 2.0 for your Note 9, and we do have some amazing features. Let's dive in. All right, so here we are. Let's uh, pull this down, and as you can see, it is in fact updating the software. The software has been updated, so I'm gonna tap that real quick, nothing happens. Your phone has been updated. Let me quickly go to the settings just to make the verification that it's been in fact fully upgraded. So about phone, go into software information, and we have One UI 2.0 and Android 10, all right? That's fantastic, you can move these around if you want. Just a little tip for you guys. Let's dive in and discover all the new features. Now the very first thing I do wanna talk about is the fact that we now have smoother animations and a faster response time. So let me just launch any application here. Take a look at the way it just comes up. And then when you tap on that button, it comes, comes right down. Let me launch the Play Store, it goes right up, and then it comes right down nice and clean, all right? So we do have these new and cool animations, as you can see. Let me go back here. Uh, let's uh, add a new home screen so I can swipe between home screens just to see how cool that is, all right? Nice and smooth. And one more thing I do want to show you guys is, let me just go over here, let me grab uh, two applications. I just want to show you guys something new with the folder as well. So I'm going to dump that right there. I'm going to grab one more product here, I'm going to put it right over here and create a folder. Now, when you tap on the folder, again, it comes up real nice. You can tap this thing right here, and you can see a real-time preview of the colors that you're choosing, and you can change the name of the folder right from here, all right? Let's just say X for now, okay? So that's great. The way it comes up, the way you can choose colors, so that's something brand new. Now, one more thing. If you pinch the screen... Uh, you'll see new icons at the bottom here. These are uh, different than the one on, ones on the One UI 1 and One UI 1.5. And when you go into your wallpapers, you're greeted with a brand new screen that shows the lock screen and the home screen wallpapers. It also gives you three options right from here. You can always go into explore more wallpapers to go to the actual store, but this is in fact a brand new wallpaper selection screen. You also have something known as the wallpapers services, which allows you to pick dynamic lock screen wallpapers. Let me tap on the uh, setting over here and I can select a category and let's just say it's gonna be landscape. So I'm gonna download that right now and it's been applied. So if I go into the lock screen right now, okay, let's just go in here. Every time I log in, you're going to see a brand new wallpaper, as you can see. Uh, tap this, brand new wallpaper. Okay, so every time I turn on, turn off, you get a brand new wallpaper. Those are dynamic wallpapers, so that's great as well. Let's move on. Now, when I go into settings, this happens to be one of my favorite features. Let me just clear all these applications. Look at those nice and cool animations. Anyway, let's go to the settings. Let's go into the actual display. We have a lot of changes here, but here is my most favorite feature. When I scroll down and I go to edge screen, now as you can, as you know, you can use edge lighting. So when you get a notification, the edge of the screen lights up. But now we have under lighting style, we have this brand new effect. So let me just pick a more pronounced color. Let's go with uh, yellow. So take a look at this brand new effect. We got the heart effect. Okay. That's great. We have the fireworks effect. That's also great. So every time you do get a text message or any notification for any application, this is going to happen. We get the bubble effect right there. As you can see, we got the eclipse effect right here. Uh, we've got the echo effect right over here. And if I scroll over, we have a bunch of more. This one happens to be my favorite, the spotlight effect. Again, these are brand new effects you can uh, choose for notifications under edge lighting. So that's one thing. Other thing that's very important is the navigation gestures. So we have a lot of stuff going on over here. Now, if I go to navigation bar, we've got the button, all right? Now let's go to full screen gestures. Boom, the buttons disappear and I can go into more options and I can pick uh, between what I used to have with One UI 1.0 or the brand new Android 10 swipe gestures, which is gonna allow you to do things like this. Swipe to home, bring up the multitasking pane, go right inside, and then swipe to go back. Absolutely uh, fantastic. 
I can also have a gesture hint enabled at the bottom. That's a little line that allows me to move between applications uh, side to side. No need to lift it up and move over. You just can use that line to go side to side with that gesture hint under full screen gestures. So let's see what else we have. We have the block gestures with S Pen. So if you enable this and you pull the S Pen out, it is not going to allow you to use the S Pen for the gesture navigation uh, in case you're drawing something. So if you're an application, you're drawing something with the S Pen, you cannot accidentally swipe the corner and go back out of that application or swipe from the bottom and go to the home. Okay, so that's a good option to have. So that's the uh, that's the navigation um, bar options. Now we also have something known as the one-handed mode. So let me just show you how that works. So before I do that, I'm gonna go to display. I'm gonna show you this here. Let's go to navigation bar and keep it at buttons just to keep it simple. Now, if I go into the advanced features of my smartphone, which is gonna be right here, and then if I go down to the one-handed mode, which is gonna be right here, I now have easier ways to actually use the one-handed mode. Much easy, in fact. So if I do this, basically I can use a gesture, a, a gesture or a button tap to enable it. So if I go with this one, simply double tapping this enables the uh, one-handed mode. In the past, you would have to triple tap it, okay? So that was one extra tap for no reason. Or I can do this. This is actually much easy. Uh, you just go like this and you get one-handed mode, all right? Again, in, in, in the older version, you had to do something from the corner, which sometimes did not register. This is simply so much more easier. So that's uh, one thing right here, okay? So that's, we, we covered that one. Let's go back here. I do want to show you guys the brand new uh, device care, which is gonna be right here, with brand new animations, brand new graphics. As you can see, it looks more modernized. If I go into the battery, okay? Uh, you get a brand new look. You have these options right front and center, including the app power management options, such as adaptive battery and putting unused apps to sleep. All right. And then I can go, first of all, let's go here. Battery usage. You get a nice little graphic on how you're using your battery. All right. Uh, I haven't used this phone in a while, so it doesn't show anything. But if I go to the storage, again, nice graphics, nice animations. If I tap on clean now, Take a look at how it works, okay? Same functionality as the as the prior device care, but with brand new and smoother graphics. That's the memory right there. Let's do this one as well, just so you guys can see everything. So I'm gonna tap on clean now. Take a look at the way it does the whole animation. Nice and cool, right over here. All right, so that's been cleared up. Let's go back. So that's the brand new uh, device care. We do have a bulb icon on the top here. You tap on this one. This is also new gives you suggestions on what it thinks you should do to optimize your smartphone. Let's tap on this one too, just to see how that's gonna look. So again, brand new look, all right? Let's go back out. Let's talk about other things happening here. Now, when I go into the camera, we also have some changes in the camera and they're really nice changes, okay? So let's uh, get rid of that. So you can swipe between modes now and you have front and cen center, you have a bunch of different modes. You can just swipe between them. If you're in the photo mode, you can zoom in and zoom out, but you also have the option to jump to two times and 10 times easily by using these buttons at the bottom. So that's fantastic. Boom, you got two times, all right? Now, if you wanna go and see all your other modes, it's been redesigned, they're gonna be sitting right here. And you can actually customize this. You can tap on the pen, tutorial, but I can drag modes, for example, the pro mode, and I can put it to the bottom right here. I can click save and I have the modes that I want, front and center, photo, video, live focus. Absolutely fantastic, all right? I like this, this one here, which makes zooming in and zooming out much easier. New design, new options. One more thing we do have is if I go to the settings, again, if I scroll down, let's uh, go to the digital well-being and parental controls. Uh, if I go, this is new by the way, so that's gonna be brand new, but if I go in here, uh, we now have something known as the focus mode, which we also have on the top here. Let me go over, we have the focus mode. So basically with the focus mode, you can avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus. So if you know that you waste a lot of time on gaming applications, uh, social media applications, you can create a brand new focus mode, all right? I'm just gonna use this as an example and tap on it, and it's gonna say start. Now, when I click on start, 
when I go out, many applications over here are grayed out, so I can't waste my time on it. The essentials, such as the clock, the settings, they're all accessible. Uh, but if I want to access these guys, I have to get out, get out of the actual uh, focus mode. So as you can see, they're all grayed out. So if I want to go in here, I, I would say uh, click OK. And that's going to, I'm sorry, go to focus mode. And I'm going to say end focus mode. And that's going to make everything available. Now, the good thing with the focus mode is, again, when you go inside and you go to focus mode, you can create your custom focus mode disabling your custom applications. So that's something brand new. And of course, we do have a new look for the digital well-being. So that's fantastic. Let's move on. Now, when I go into my My Files application, again, let's go to My Files, all right, right here. Uh, what happens here is we now have, if I tap this over here, a brand new trash section. I can tap on trash, turn it on. And if I delete anything by mistake on my phone, I can restore it from the trash. So let's do it a quick example. Let's see if I have something. Let's go to downloads, nothing here, images, all right? So let me just uh, go here and delete one of these images. Let's just delete this, say delete, all right? Now when I go into my trash right here, that's gonna show up right there. I can tap edit and I can say restore and it's gonna go right back. Now this works for any file type. So it's, it's great that you have that option. Now I'll let you know that the dark mode has been enhanced. So when you go to display and you turn on, turn on the dark mode, uh, it's enhanced to the point. So let me go out, look at the wallpaper in the background. Now let's go back out, enable it. If I go back, the wallpaper actually darkens, the widgets darken, and there's also a background text and color adjustments just to make the whole experience a little less dark and easy on the eyes. Now when I turn on the dark mode again, the wallpaper becomes brighter. So it's an enhanced dark mode and it's no longer called the night mode. It's now known as the dark mode, all right? Other than that, everything else is the same. You can use the adaptive color filter if you so desire as well. And of course, there are some other subtle graphical changes. For example, if I change the volume, uh, the animation that shows the volume has changed as well. Okay, so it expands, just looks a little nicer and cleaner. Uh, if I go to my phone, for example, if I go into the settings of the phone, uh, and if I go into call display while, while using uh, apps, I can pick from a mini pop-up view. So when you get a phone call, instead of getting a regular pop-up, you get, a, get an even smaller pop-up so it's less intrusive on the display. And you have the option to keel, keep the calls in the pop-up view. So you take the call, you end the call, and you move on to what you were doing, all right? So that's mini pop-up right there is brand new. All right, so that's basically most of the features I wanted to talk about in One UI 2.0, Android 10, or in your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. And remember, this update was for the unlocked version. Some carrier versions have already gotten this update a while ago. Anyway, guys, for now, have a fantastic day. I'm loving these nice and smooth animations on the Note, uh, Note 9. Feels like a brand new phone. All right. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.